Hey guys, it's Kaz here, and today, since it's March, and middle grade March is a thing, I thought it might be fun and interesting to talk about some middle grade books that I don't often see people talk about. I looked on Goodreads and all of these have less than a thousand ratings, and half of them have less than a hundred, so I thought it might be interesting to talk about them and maybe you'll find some things that you've never heard of before. So I'm actually just going to go down in order of most ratings to least ratings, because why not? It makes sense. So, first of all, at the time of filming this, this one has 765 ratings on Goodreads, and that is The Shark Caller by Zilla Bethel. So, this one, this one's really interesting. It's set in Papua New Guinea, the author was from there and used to live in this little place at the sea. Just, like, it's so different culturally, it's just really interesting. And First of all, at the beginning, I mentioned this in my last video, if you saw my February wrap-up, but... This is a, a proof copy, so I'm guessing it's in the proper book. But at the beginning, it has a glossary of Papua New Guinea pigeon into English, so you can go and look what's going on. Very necessary, very thankful. So yeah, this book is about Blue Wing, who wants to become a shark caller. So basically, it's going out in the water and doing all these cool, weird things to make sharks come to avenge your parents' death because her parents were killed by this specific shark who she wants to get and kill and capture and all that jazz. But instead, she's just having to exist on this island and these new people come, so there's this white guy and he has a daughter and they come to this specific very small village to do some sort of um, colonialism type thing. I can't remember exactly, but like that's what they're there for, basically. And she has to look after the daughter hang around, show her the village, show her what's going on, she's really annoyed about that. But these two characters slowly start learning about each other, they both have secrets, it's really interesting, like I said, the the place that it's set, I've never read a book from here before, it's really interesting, it's definitely on the higher end of middle grade, because it is quite a chunky book, and obviously there's all the, the different words that you might be hard, um, so over 300 pages. But it's really good, it's really interesting, there are some twists and turns in here that you don't expect. And I very much enjoyed it, and if you've never read it then definitely give it a go. Next up with 472 ratings on Goodread is Children of the Quicksands by Afua Torore. And first of all, in a similar vein as that one, at the beginning it has a glossary that has all the words in so you know what they mean. So here we are, it tells you all the stuff. This is set in a Nigerian village and it's a lot about um, Nigerian fairy tales and all these things like gods and stuff. Um, no TV, internet or phone. But they're just, yeah, it's like a place and a culture that you probably don't know about and you don't really read a lot of in middle grade or in books in general. And this one is about a girl who's living in a very like, what's the word? Metropolitan city and then she has to go and stay with her grandmother who's in this tiny village with the no TV, the no internet, the just like living their life out there without all the stuff. And then all this magical stuff happens and it's really good, it's really interesting. There's these magical worlds and there's different fairy tales, goddesses, gods, all this sort of culture and lore and yeah, it's just really interesting. And again, it's something I've never read before, so I very much enjoyed it. And hopefully you will too. It's very magical and it's also just really interesting to read because of how different it is culturally and not creaturely. I feel like I want to say creaturely, but like the law that we're dealing with in here. It's very interesting. I believe, I think the, I think it's Euroban. I might be wrong there though, I can't remember. But yeah, really good, read it. Next up with the big jump down from that is only 100 ratings, and that is Monster Hunting for Beginners by Ian Mark. I did talk about this in my last video, which was my February wrap up. But yes, this one has only got 100 ratings. It's a really fun middle grade. This one is definitely on the younger side of middle grade where those ones were more on like the slightly higher grade because it's just really, it's really big writing, there's loads of pictures and stuff. It's just really fun and quick, fast paced. And it's about this young boy Jack who becomes a monster hunter and he's guided by this guy 
who <laughs> it's quite funny at the beginning i'm just gonna give you spoilers he basically like hands him this thing oh do you want to become a monster hunter he hands him the book and then the first page of the book was like if you've taken this you are a monster hunter unlucky it's in the small print if you accept it then you're doing it i just thought that was quite funny and yeah it's just about all this different stuff going on there's all different creatures and beasts and big bad nasty things but also on the flip side they, they can't kill the big bad nasty things they have to just like stop them and take them to the place and teach them to be better so that's quite nice that they're not out here just murdering all of the different creatures even though in in the in the back in the good old days the old uh mentor he was like ah oh, we used to be able to do it back in there but now we have to be nice to them or but yeah it was just a really fun book so if you have to really quick read that's just fun and silly then this one is for you we're halfway through so let's go on over to the kitty cats and then i shall be bitty backs that was so unnecessary see you in a sec Next up, a book with 56 ratings on Goodreads, and that is The Light Thieves by Helena Duggan. This one, I think it only came out this year, so maybe that's why not many people have read it yet. But this one is very interesting because it feels like so, like it could happen. So basically, there's like this, this billionaire dude who's just doing all this billionaire stuff, and it's like, is he good, is he bad? And like, bro, real life. So, in this world, apparently, the somehow the world has been tilted and then like all this darkness is happening and bad stuff's happening and this billionaire guy is like hey bro i've got this certain spot and if everybody comes to this spot then we can all stand on it and we'll tilt the world the right way around so our main character's sister really wants to go there and she disappears his granddad disappears and then these weird things come to his house that are like floating around with big hoods on and he's like what the crap is going on and then like stuff kicks off and he meets these other characters because obviously you've got to have a nice fun group of friends and then they're going off to this place where this billionaire is getting all these people to go to to figure out what is going on can we trust this billionaire dude is he there for the good intentions or is he being bad and he's actually doing the bad intentions he's getting all these people there for nefarious reasons and that's pretty much what this book is about it's also the start of the series so there's going to be more it ends open-ended the, like the next stuff that's going to happen that we need to find out but yes i did enjoy this the other characters are really fun as well like our main character's friends i'm just saying main characters i'm so bad at remembering people's names grian the so grian's the main character and his two companions are really fun as well one of them is a person that like lives in the forest with these foresty people that don't trust the billionaire guy and she also has these really cool powers where she can interact with animals. And then this other guy is his neighbour who's like really nerdy and knows all the stuff for that stuff. So yeah, it's a really good one. Give it a read. Next up with only 51 ratings on Goodreads is A Flash of Fireflies by Aisha Bushby. So this one is potentially in the middle. It's not like really high middle grade, but it's definitely not low. It's like somewhere in the middle, but towards the high middle grade. And basically this is about a girl, it's also about going to a different place. Like a lot of these are like a girl that lives in a place and then goes to a different place and, and then that culture. So this one is, I can't remember where she's from. She's from a place but then she goes to England to her, I want to say her aunt. Um, and this is really interesting the way it's written because it's like this magical stuff's happening. But you don't know whether it's actually happening or whether it's just in her mind because this deals with mental health it deals with OCD and there's like this fairy tale world that she goes into and there are these fireflies that tell her that she has to do this thing over and over and over again she has to search the trees for this thing like collect all the fruits over and over and over again and she can't stop until the fireflies tell her that she has to stop and then like all the like fairy tale stuff happens and at the same time she's at summer school in England to like get ahead on this new place that she's going to be at and in her school they're learning about fairy tales so it's like mixing that and this her actual fairy tale world in together it's really interesting it's really something that i've never read before 
and yeah I really enjoyed it it's about mental health in a different way so if that sounds interesting give it a read and then last but not least with only 33 ratings how is sleepover takeover by Simon James Green this one it's so simple for me to explain um imagine the hangover but a middle grade and that's it that's pretty much what's happening here so these kids go to this party and then they wake up and loads of crazy stuff's gone on there's stuff running about wild one of them's wearing a wedding dress they don't know what's gone on there's weird things drawn on stuff there's like a random what is it a goat oh no a donkey just like randomly there they don't know where it's come from and the story is just them going through trying to piece together what happened the night before why it happened what the absolute crap's going on and it's just a fun time full of whimsy because obviously it is it's simon james green it's funny it's silly there's stuff kicking off and all the characters are really interesting and enjoyable as well it's it's got a nice little dynamic with the characters because our main character and his best friend are like the people that don't really hang out with other people they're just like chill the normal kids and then the party was like the coolest richest person at school it's their party so it's them and all their friends but then they kind of have to join forces to figure out what's going on so there's that oh maybe this person's not what they seem maybe this person's not what they seem so it's nice about potential friendships happening as well so again another one that's really good i'm spoiling you there's so many books read them all so yeah, there we go. Those were six middle grade books that maybe you've never heard of or maybe you should read. Hopefully at least one of them sounded interesting to you. I'm not very good at explaining stuff, so maybe you still don't know what the crap's going on. But maybe pick them up and give them a read and see what you think yourself. If you want to leave any other recommendations for middle grades, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Maybe other people will see them and think, oh, they sound good, and then pick them up. Other than that, if you want to subscribe, do that. That's fine. If you don't, it's chill. And I shall see you in a few days with another video. Bye.